We have a question from Mark. Mark says, I'm 40 in pretty decent shape considering old rugby injuries and two kids, work, etc. I'm currently in a situation where I can I have only access to one bell, 32K, comfortably swing it for sets of 25 to give you an idea of the conditioning level. Sets of 25 with the 32, that's, that's good effort. There's nothing wrong with that. What are the pros and cons of utilizing the 10,000 swings concept, but with lower reps to accommodate the additional weight? What impacts would it expect to see positive or negative? Well, the only thing is, Mark, just keep in mind that the 10,000 swing challenge is just a challenge. Um, you know, I, I can't imagine that if you did the 500 swings a day with the 32, at the end of the 20 days, you know, something good would happen. Your grip, you know, especially I find that weird right, right there. That is my kettlebell swing muscle. I don't know what, I don't know what it is, but it's, that's the one that gets the, that's the one when I'm at the end of the day going, what happened? Uh, I do notice my posture gets better after it. And I do notice, and you know, maybe one or two people have you know, said that I have a lovely buttocks and that gives me great joy. Um, you ask pros and cons. The pros would be you would have a very clear 20 day path. And don't underestimate that. For 20 days, you're going to say, this is what I'm going to do. Wish me luck. Hats off. We'll see you in a bit. Cons. Well, I mean, old rugby injuries, two kids work, you know, and then you're going to throw in the swings. Uh, it might be worth you doing something that I've never done. Well, we do have group the group workouts, but dropping it to just 250 swings a day, which will, you know, it's going to double the amount of time it's going to take. But do 250 swings a day and mix in, especially if you're going to do just sets of 25. So do a set of 25, do a push. Do a set of 25, do an upper body mobility move. Do a set of 25, do a pull, do a set of tw 25 and do an upper body uh, mobility move. Do a set of 25 and goblet squat, if you can. Do a set of 25 and do a lower body mobility movement. Do a set of 25 and do, I'm getting lost, a lower body mobility movement. So hip flexor stretch, follow the hips. Do 25 swings and do maybe walking in place, suitcase carries, 25 swings, you know. So swing, uh, traditional lift, swing. And by the way, if you only have the 32 and that's all, um, if you can't, you know, press it left hand, then right hand. Um, row left, row right. You know, do that, you know. So 25 swings, left hand press. 25 swings, right hand press. 25 swings, upper body mobility, 25 swings, uh, left hand row, 25 swings, right hand row, you know, you know something like that. Um, and it, once you write it out, it'll be a lot more logical. Um, and then that way, you're getting these full body workouts in, plus your swings, and it'll give you time to do the mobility and the strength work that we all need. If you just want to do and this is not a bad idea considering you talk about your injuries right away. 25 swings, appropriate. I would do, a, we do original strength, Tim Anderson's work. 25 swings, a Tim Anderson movement. 25 swings, Tim Anderson movement. 25, 25. And do 10 rounds of that. You might feel better walking out the door. You might even find a yoga move or two that help. Um, for me personally, there's two yoga moves. One's called the rag doll. And uh, I really, I hinge my butt back, way back, so I'm not just hanging on my uh, my tissues. Uh, I have some, so I push my butt way back, I hinge, grab my elbows like this and just hang. And almost every time I do that, I hear my neck go, and do this like, not a pop like a chiropractor adjustment, but like a real opening. And then I wait until I hear my lower back do the same thing. And then the other one I do is called the butterfly. It's where you sit on your back, you put the your heels together, and you just let your legs open up. Um, because of all my hip issues, that makes me feel good. It makes me feel good. <laughs> well, so maybe you can find a few simple exercises that uh, work for you and your injury history. But uh, Mark, you're doing fine.
and I'm, I'm glad, I, I hope I helped. Thank you.